What's going on, people? Uh, this morning I'm coming to you from uh, Evergreen, uh, one of the ports. But uh, this morning I want to talk to you guys about how much money, uh, how much money you save uh, fixing your own truck, doing maintenance on your own truck. Let me tell you what I did uh, uh, last week. Uh, last week I bought a, an air dryer for this truck, a governor, and six shocks. And uh, the air dryer cost me three hundred and twenty dollars. The governor cost me forty-eight bucks, and then the six shocks cost me three hundred and thirty-six bucks. A total of 704, 704 bucks. Uh, so that's what it cost me. But if the shop would have did it, because uh, this is what happened. I don't know what happened to my impact craftsman, uh, but I couldn't take my shocks off. So where I park, there's a couple of uh, mechanic shops there. So I went to one shop, and one shop was, they were, they were jam-packed, they were booked. And uh, they told me there, you know, we can't service you right now because, you know, we're jam-packed. We're packed to uh, Tuesday. So I said, okay, so I went to the next shop. The other shop wasn't as busy, but to put on them six shops, just them six shots. They were charging me a hundred and fifty bucks. Can you believe that crap? And we can do them shots ourselves. It's it's not hard. It's it's freaking. I mean, a ten year old can do it. Uh, thank God I know a couple of mechanics, uh, good friends of mine, and uh, one of them just uh, you know I called him up and I I asked him uh. Hey, uh, where's your shop at? You know, uh, I need my shots uh, replaced. And he tells me, Victor, just come over and uh, get my impact. Get my impact and uh, do it yourself. I was like, oh, yeah, buddy. So I shot down there and, uh, you know, I grabbed his impact. I did it on the street. I just went up the street, pulled over, did all six shots. So... If you do it yourself, you know the job is right, and you save yourself a lot of money. Now, can you imagine if I would have had six shops, six shots done by a shop? That's 150 bucks. The air dryer and the governor, that would have probably been another 100 bucks, if not another 150 bucks. So you're talking about 300 bucks in just labor, which is... I mean, the six shots took me, I don't know, maybe a half an hour, if not less, to put on, take off and put on. Uh, the air dryer and the governor, same thing, you know, no more than 30 minutes. So, that's why I like to put out videos where, you know, we can do our own repairs on our trucks you know it's 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 not hard it's not hard you know if like i've said before on my previous videos if you're the type of person that doesn't like to get dirty i mean you're gonna pay out of pocket you're gonna pay out of pocket now the 150 bucks of labor for this particular shot I don't know what he was charging me, if he was charging me three hours or two hours or what have you, but just think about it. If you don't like to get dirty and you don't have the money for it, you're going to keep running your truck crappy just because you don't like to get dirty. It makes no damn sense. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. And you save yourself a lot of money. Um. Now, the previous week, 
previous week, uh, same thing. I worked on this truck, and uh, I bought three buckets of oil, three buckets of oil for the transmission and the two differentials in the back, which it was a mistake because it didn't take five gallons. The transmission doesn't take five gallons. The differentials don't take five gallons, but according to Freightline, they told me it took five gallons, but they were they were wrong. The transmission only takes four gallons. Uh, the first differential, the the one closest to the to the wall of the truck, the bed of the truck, it took four gallons as well. The differential way in the back, it only took three gallons. Anyways, them three buckets cost me uh, five hundred and twenty bucks. Can you imagine what the shop was going to charge me? Let's, let's just give and take another 150 bucks. So you're paying what, like uh, six, 676 just because you don't want to get dirty? I mean, if you have the money, you know, more power to you. you know, uh, me, I'm, I'm stingy. I'm stingy. If I can, if I can save a penny, I'm going to save a penny, you know, so... That's why I like to do the maintenance on my trucks and, and make sure it gets done right. And I save a lot of money, you know. So uh, if you can, if you can, you know, do your own maintenance, man. It's, it's not hard. It's not hard. It's pretty much everything's pretty much common sense, you know. Uh, I try to keep up on this truck like I said before because it needs a lot of needs a lot of help <laughs> needs a lot of maintenance to it I've, I've let it go because of uh, the people that have been behind the wheel and you know they, they, they haven't told me what was wrong with this so now I'm just finding out myself what's wrong with this truck uh, I'm gonna hate to give it up in uh, 2020 uh, I'm hoping we don't have to give up these trucks because uh, I put in a lot of money into this truck. And it's a good truck. It's a good truck. You know, it's almost at a million miles and it's, it's, it's good. It's a good truck. So do your own maintenance, people. You know, stop being scared of getting under the hood and getting under the truck and getting dirty. You know, that's, that's just part of the job. You know, if you look at other YouTube videos, well, the drivers, you know, they're they're having a whole bunch of breakdowns because they're depending on a mechanic or they don't have the money to pay for a mechanic to, you know, work on the trucks because they'll give you a code of, uh, you know, like for instance, right here, uh, you know, dryer governor and six shocks, uh, the total was 704, uh, Let's just put another 300 on that, you know, uh, that's a thousand bucks. So they give you that quote and, you know, you don't have the thousand bucks, you know, but you have the 704. So see the difference? You're saving a whole bunch of money. So yeah, people just uh, think about doing your own truck, staying up on your truck. I've said it before and I'll say it again, you know, don't drive them trucks raggedy because uh, you will end up paying for it, you know. It's like, uh, 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 excuse me. Uh, it's like a revolving door with these trucks, you know. Uh, something's wrong with it. Something else happens to it. And when it was just $100 that you were going to spend on that one part that you were going to replace, well, this part cost another part to break down, and that part cost another part to break down. So, keep up on your trucks, people. Keep up on your trucks, and uh, you won't have a problem with your trucks. All right, people. I uh, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you in our next one.